Hi, this is an example problem about a mercury barometer which has to do with the increase in pressure with depth in a static fluid. This is from chapter 11. Pause for a moment to read the question. Okay, so we are looking at a, a fluid here of mercury, or in part B, we can fill this apparatus with water. The way this is set up is that you've got this uh, vat of liquid, and uh, this is connected to this here, so this is all one continuous segment of liquid, and up here you've got a vacuum essentially. The way this works is you basically fill the thing with the uh, liquid completely with the end in the uh, vat, and then you tilt it up, and because of gravity some can fall down and leave a vacuum at the top. Now we are asked uh, calculate the height of the liquid if the, of the barometer if it is filled. So here we're looking at the height. Here's where we start at zero height. Uh, up here, h, what is this equal to? Well, we can uh, use the uh, equation that tells us how pressure increases with depth in a static fluid. Delta P equals rho GH. And uh, notice delta P is the difference between two points. The lower point down here has the higher pressure. Up higher is a lower pressure. So here's delta P is equal to rho, the density of the liquid, the gravitational constant, G, multiplied by H, the depth below the upper point. Now, we can pick our two points here, uh, P1. Now, up here's a vacuum. A vacuum means that you have zero pressure, and this is zero absolute pressure. There is no... Uh, weight of any fluid weighing down inside there. There is no no uh, fluid, there is no air inside there. So that's an absolute pressure of zero there. Down here we have a second pressure at the bottom of the column, pressure two. Now here we've got a situation where the atmospheric pressure is the pressure of the air and that's the pressure of the air right at that, uh, right up to the surface of the liquid turns out that uh, the liquid pressure at this le level here where they meet needs to be the same. So uh, anywhere where two fluids meet, static fluids, their pressures are the same. So this here, also atmospheric pressure, and uh, we are told in this problem that the atmospheric pressure in this case is one atmosphere. Atmospheric pressure doesn't always have to be one atmosphere, but usually it's close to that, or it's always close to that, and a lot of times it's exactly 1.0. All right, so we have these things here, so that's what we can go ahead and fill in for delta P, right? We've got P, the lower value, P2, minus P1, the uh, higher value, is equal to rho G H. In our case, we got an absolute pressure of zero here at the top, and so we can measure uh, the uh, pressure, P2 is one atmosphere below. We wanna solve for H. Let's go ahead and rearrange this equation. We're going to find out that H is equal to P2 divided by rho times G. And if we put in the numbers here, first we're going to have to go ahead and convert this one atmosphere to the uh, standard units of pressure here. So let's go ahead and look real quick for our conversions of pressure. Well, one atmosphere turns out to be 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. I'll just use 1.01. Divided by the density in part A, we're using mercury, so that is 13,600. And that is kilograms per meters cubed. In fact, we might as well go ahead and use the uh, units for pressure, newtons per meter squared. Uh, and gravity, we have 9.8 meters per second squared. When we put these numbers in, we come up with a value that's equal to 0 0.76, and what are the units going to be? Well, there's a whole bunch of stuff to look at here, right? Uh, we can cancel a few things out here. So in the top, we've got newtons per meter squared 
divided by cancel out a uh, meter there and we're going to end up with a kilogram this is a squared now meter squared times second squared right let's cross multiply uh, Newton remember is a kilogram meter per second squared so we've got this right we're going to cross multiply by the bottom And of course, uh, cancels, cancels, and we're left with just the meter. And that's exactly what we expect for a height, so that's good. 0 0.76 meters, or if we want, we can write this as 76 centimeters, and of course, this is mercury. It turns out that this was an early unit of measure for one atmosphere of pressure. If we go back and look at the Yaman units of pressure, you can see that, yeah, one atmosphere, we already saw what it is in Pascal's, the SI unit, but another unit is 760 millimeters of mercury. I said 76 centimeters, well, that's 760 millimeters of mercury. We want to write it like that. We can even do this. Convert that to millimeters. And that was an old-fashioned unit for measuring pressure. All right, now in part B, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing with water. Now for water, notice again what's happening. Uh, we have, uh, in this case, we have the air pushing down here. So the air is pushing on the open vat because it has pressure, right? And it's going to uh, push this mercury up until the weight of the mercury is balanced by the pressure, the force that the pressure exerts, right? Now, if we use water in this case, what's going to happen is that the water is less dense, and so it's going to have a much smaller weight. It's going to have to go up a lot higher until it has the same weight of that vat of mercury. So the air is going to be able to push the wire, the water, a lot less, a lot less dense, much much further up. Let's see how, how much further it goes. So in part B, in this case, everything is the same as what we previously did. We can use the same equation. All we need to do now, substitute the density of mercury, this was mercury, for the density of water. And so that's going to be again 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth newtons per meter squared. Now in this case, water is one that we can easily remember. It was defined to be like this, 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. And uh, the um, value for G, 9.8 meters per second squared. Put this into the equation, we end up getting 10.3 meters. Or if we want to go ahead and convert that to millimeters, it would be a bunch of millimeters, but we'll just leave it like this.